Hey everybody, the lottery data from the September 28th, 2017 Grand Canyon River Permit Office uh, follow-up data has been published. Here it is. There's the URL. And let's get into it. Uh, there's a link to the data in cell N2. And uh, let's see here. So a couple things that were surprising for me looking at this data. Starting with column H here. Uh, number of applications listing this date. <coughs> the average is really low, 63, in contrast to the other one, two, three, four lotteries we've had this year. Uh, look at the average from the August 31st follow-up is 109, is over 100, which I fully expected this one to be over. Um, average for the early August, August 3rd was 102, we go to our April is 164, we go to our March and it was 168. So we can see a downtrend in the a significant downtrend in the average number of applications this month. Uh, or, uh, for this, yeah, this month's follow-up lottery. Uh, the other thing was the, just this narrow range, right? Um, the range is the uh, spread of the data set, so the low to high or mid to max. In this case, our lowest date was December 23rd, 2017, and our highest date was October 17th, uh, less than a month out from the lottery itself with 67 apps. So that's less than 10 uh, a 10 app variation. Uh, so, also surprising. Um, other things of note is that uh, we had four or five point apps and uh, three apps that were less than that a three, two threes, and a two. And that typically you'd have uh, probably one more five in this point average might be a little higher, um, but it's a little lower than other lotteries at 3.6, which is the average odd per app, and uh, which gave the average odds of winning it um, almost 2%. So if you're just a common person um, uh, applying to this lottery, your odds are almost 2%. Okay, other things to look at. Um, if you had uh, odds of women in the permit, person with the permit had the highest odds they had. This person with five points on the lowest point day had almost 3% odds, still very low. And our lowest um, point was uh, uh, November 27th at 1.2%. Uh, and then, uh, of course, in column E, we have if you're a one point person, your odds are less than 1% across the dates. And then let's say these are all standard size dates, so um, let's look at your max odds if you're applying with a permit party of 16 people with all five points. So that's 16 times 5 equals 80 points. And so then we just do 80, of course, divided by the total chances, and then we convert those to a percentage. So the average there is 42%. So actually oh, odds of almost 50% for the December date if you... Um, have the full size permit party. So that that looks uh, pretty good. Again, better than any other lottery we've seen, right? Um, the, the odds was 16 people on the August 31st was 22.56%. Uh, and then I haven't done it for these other ones, um, but they would be even lower than that. And we know that just because the number of applications is much higher. And so is the total chances um, that uh, for those applications listing that date. Those numbers um, are relational. So uh, surprising results, you know. Uh, general trend, though, nonetheless, is the same. It's very difficult to get a Grand Canyon permit, even when you have a relatively no, low number of uh, about 64 people applying to each date in the follow-up lottery. Uh, that's a big pool to, that's a big group of people to compete with if you're just a, you know, lonely, lowly individual person. If you don't have a, um, on 
you know, a full armada of 16, 15 other people to apply for, for a total of 16 five-point people, um, you don't have good odds of winning this lottery or um, any of them, quite frankly. Uh, just looking at this information graphically, we have the odds of losing um, right up here at almost 100% across the board, down to 97 there. Uh, in this green, we have our odds of winning. Uh, and then odds of winning based on the average. And um, one person odds. Oop. And then our 16 person odds. So you look at that and um, it just reinforces that uh, permit parties are, are the best way to go, but by no means definitive. Um, there's not, you know, the volume's just too high in this lottery to have a, a um, windfall shot. So I'm trying to get that to overlay, but it's not. Okay, so that's that's all I got for this screencast. I'll keep it short. Uh, shorter than others, perhaps. Again, the link to the data is there. I hope this helps folks uh, plan for the next follow-up lottery. You know, lessons the same. Uh, group group with big people. And if, if you don't want to do that, or um, work to change the system, you know. Uh, so think of the organizations that represent Grand Canyon and, um, and Grand Canyon voters in general. And if if you think this is um, a good system, great. If there's specific thing, if you if uh, you think you know average odds of winning uh, less than two percent, or for the last lottery, a uh, little over one percent, the one before that, odds of winning. Ooh, this one had uh, five percent. Um, if you think those, if you think these numbers are fair and good, great. Um, tell the people. You know, tell the people in charge that they are great. And if not, do something. So anyway, uh, the whole hope for this is just education and uh, inf being informative. So I hope it helps. And uh, until the next uh, lottery, you know, may the odds be in your favor, as they say in the Hunger Games. Thanks. Bye.